Good morning, YouTube. We are going to be replacing a keyboard here on this HP Pavilion G7. And as you can see, someone's made some really nice stickers for the keys, but this is going to become one of our refurbished machines here eventually. So we are going to replace the keyboard on it so it has a nice new keyboard. Here is our nice new keyboard, and we always usually kind of lay them on there, make sure it looks like it's the right size, looks the same as the other one, save us some time. Uh, we have our nice little electronics kit that we picked up. It's a cheap kit that we picked up from Menards, but we use these a lot. Um, we have a lot of other tools that we could use. We even have a power driver we could use, but I'm going to do this one by hand and that, so... Uh, usually we have to remove at least one screw from the back, so we are going to go ahead and undo this little guy because usually they hide the screws for the keyboard underneath him. A little opening tool and we'll take the battery out. You want to make sure it's unplugged, the battery's out, so there's no power to this unit. May not even need the opening tool. Maybe we'll be able to pop this off without it. And, oh, looks like we didn't get that one completely loose. There we go. So now we have it open, and you can see our hard drive. There's our RAM. We may actually end up adding some more RAM to this one. It has four gigabytes. We have a few like this, so some will go out with four, some will go out with eight. Different price range on them. Not sure how they're going to be priced yet, but oh, almost forgot. Got to talk and almost forgot to take the screw out. We got to look for it. Um, I'm sure there's one in here. Let me spin this around and look, and there it is. So right here, you're going to see the screw for the keyboard. We'll go ahead and pull it. And we'll set on a magnetic pad over here. Now, the keyboard should be able to just pop right up out. There's usually some clips in here. Opening tools are great little things for doing that. Uh, sometimes you can even see the clips here. Sometimes this goes easier than others, but and there we go. Get down in behind it. One little clip was right there, and that it's actually right there, and that we released. You can even use a plastic pick. That's sometimes better, so you don't scar the plastic around it. And see if we can get the next one to come free. A lot of times they're easier than this, but this one's definitely wanting to put up a fight. So, see if I can get a plastic pick down in there, and maybe that will do. There we go, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, there we go. Once you get them started, they usually come a lot easier. I'm going to flip our keyboard up, and it looks awful dirty underneath here, wow. You have a little black lever that's right here, we're going to flip that black lever up, and pull our cable out here, and there's our old keyboard out. And let's see here. Grab a little cloth here and we're going to clean up and dust this a little bit. And see if we can get some of this stuff out and cleaned up. Since 
we won't need to be down in here again. And now we'll take out our new keyboard here and get him ready to put in. Make sure your little flap stays up. Obviously, there's a little piece of tape there that's wanting to cause it to flip down. It kind of worries me that it's taped there. If you put this in, you'll notice a white line on this. You're going to want to make sure you get that all the way in with that white line. Otherwise, your keys are going to do some really, really funky things. And let's see. Sometimes they don't go 100%, but you just want to try and make sure it's in. This one here, the white line is just barely at the end of that black thing, so I'm going to think that's probably good enough. And just push it down into place. You'll hear it snap in there. Nice new looking one. Now we are going to test this here real quick to make sure that the keyboard works before we put it back together. If I can find, so we'll plug it in and we'll power this on. Need a lot of cleanup on this little guy. Booting into Windows 10, which we installed a fresh copy of Windows 10 on him. And it's been activated. So. Yeah. Takes a little bit of time to log in. This is a good time to remind you to like our videos and subscribe so that you know when we put out new videos that also kind of helps us with YouTube we're not monetized yet but maybe someday and that's all being an older laptop again with only four gigabytes takes a little bit of time to log in but it's not bad and that all right so we got that Touchpad working. Yep. And our keys are working. I don't know if you can see that what we're typing there, but just basically typing different letters, making sure they come up, different spots on the keyboard, making sure we get nothing really, really weird. So now we can go ahead and tell this little guy to power down. And we can complete our repair. It's always good to check and make sure it works before you actually finish your repair. And go we'll ahead and plug it. Flip it back over. And as you notice, we keep a towel or a cloth or something here so as to not scuff the top of the laptop. A lot more important when you're working on a customer's machine than when you're working on your own or one that's going to be refurbished because they'll see the marks before they ever decide if they want to buy it. And this one has quite a few anyway. We will put our screw back in to hold our keyboard down good. Always good if the screw came with it to put that screw back. We will go ahead and put our back on here. Sometimes these get a little bit tricky to get them to go back in, but you will have to get a little forceful with it probably. That's just the way these guys get. And sometimes they go in easier than other times and it just never really seems to go the same every time and of course when we do a video they always decide to really go and show how tough they can be to put back in. And looks like we got them all popped down in there. Sometimes you can use this opening tool here and put right where the clip is and use that to help slide them down in there. So 
we will go ahead and screw down our plate here again. You always want to go around and make sure that it's all stamped down so it sits nice and flat when you're done. You'll hear some more pops and cracks as all those little clips get down where they belong. And that is replacing a keyboard on an HP Pavilion G7. Thank you, and again, subscribe and like our videos.